I'm Hulk Hogan, the greatest wrestler of all time. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. You got space, man, huh? No, actually, I'm a plumber. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I can't go anywhere without getting a boner. How you doing? I live my life. Woo! The Rock says, Sweet baby Jesus in the office. Hi everyone, you're watching the Wrestle Rock Podcast Season 4. I am with my partner Benoit, aka Nastrada Ben. How are you doing today, my friend? Yeah, fine. And you? Yes, I'm going super great. A and special you... guest uh, about, uh, um, about the turtle, about movie, about yes, uh, cinema. And, uh, is uh, for me uh, the most significant actors of the 90s. Uh, because he personalized uh, the Shredder uh, in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Secret of the Ooze. He also uh, personalized Mr. Chan in the Lost series. And uh, let me introduce yourself, Mr. Francois Shaw. How's you going today, my friend? Uh, it's going great. great. Thank you so much for having me. Now, I see your names, Benoit and... Uh, your last name is Drapeau. Uh, are you guys French? Yes, we are Benoit French. From Quebec City. Ah. Yes, we are French. Ah, okay. Alors, oui. vous parlez un peu de français, mais et, uh, je crois que pas, pas comme moi, parce que mon français est uh, parisien. Oh, il est parisien. Wow, oui. intéressant. Vous intéressant. parlez français. Est-ce est que vous, est -ce que vous parlez oui, français? Oui. Oui. C'est ah. ma langue maternelle, français. Wow. Oh, vous parlez français. Oh, ben, nice. oui, oui, oui. Euh, donc, est-ce que vous voulez faire l'entrevue en français avec nous? Euh, je, je suis très relié, alors que je, en, anglais, c'est oh, mieux. Oui, je okay, no problem, we can, uh, we can flip uh, as yeah, you Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, first of all, thank you uh, for accepting our invitation. This is uh, very awesome. And uh, as I said, you, for, for real, uh, you can imagine how you are uh, significant for my 90s because... Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle is, uh, a, for me, an inspiration of life. And you, that's We're awesome trying to that, that we can talk uh, together because uh, I'm a big fan of, of, okay. of that. And when I was young, uh, I, I was in, uh, in school and I was um, a ch um, um shy person uh -huh. and, and I, uh, I i had uh, anxieties and when i can imitate uh ninja turtles shredders and uh, <laughs> uh, of course the, the the pizza deliver uh that that was awesome and we can just fix on it and forget uh the problem uh, at school so this is very awesome that you can uh do this uh wonderful uh acting because that, that between you and me uh benoit that that's not easy to uh, interpret the the shredder because you a, have a big antagonist and yes a, and you have an helmet yeah and uh, an armor yes and you need to uh on, on the camera uh, reflect uh emotional and that is not easy and uh, France, uh, France, Francois a uh, relevé le défi. So uh, thank you for that. It's yeah. uh, awesome. Uh, it's, 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 it's difficult because all you see is pretty much yeah. this, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, you know, it's, it's just... Uh, uh, I, I don't want to say it's easy, but it, it, uh, as an actor, it's, uh, you use everything you have. So... Uh, yeah, um, yeah. You know your 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 body movement, and if you if this is all you have, then it, it's it's what you see in your eyes. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And uh, we would like to talk about um, a, a couple of things about uh, Los Angeles because we know that you are living uh, mm -hmm. in Los Angeles. So uh, we read that you um, do you have a favorite uh, Los Angeles uh, sport teams? 
Well, it's uh, it's hard, but it is, uh, um, of course, the Los Angeles Los Angeles Lakers. Okay, uh, oh, yeah, the Lakers. Yes. Yeah. yes. <laughs> Magic Johnson. Shaquille Magic Lillard. Johnson. Yeah, I started following, uh, watching foot, uh, the, the NBA, the basketball, uh, okay. around around the um, late '80s when yeah. uh, when Magic uh, was still playing, and uh, I followed the team. You know, not 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 really uh, obsessed about it, but uh, uh, I like watching them, and uh, yeah. they are my favorite team. So um, you know, I, when I watch, I have, I have to root for them, but. Um, you know, it's hard because sometimes they go up, on, you know, they use, they're the Lakers. They go up and down, up and down. And, you know, when yeah. they win, it's great. When they lose, it's like, ah, oh my God, why did, how did you do that? <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, yeah, that's uh, but that's about the only sport uh, I, I kind of okay. follow. Uh, you know, I don't. I, I watch baseball once in a while. I watch football once in a while. Uh, uh, even now, I started watching poker once in a while or football, okay. as uh, everybody else calls it. Um, but, uh, yeah, the Lakers are, are pretty much... Uh, Nice. My team, yeah. Let's go ahead. Okay, uh, Mr. Show, uh, where did you study to become an actor? Ah, okay. Um, I became interested in acting when I was very young in, in high school, which was, okay. uh, I guess, uh, around um, 15, 16 years old. Okay. Um, then uh, I went to, after high school, I went to college and uh, studied theater and acting. Uh, this is all on the uh, East Coast um, in Washington, D.C. Okay. 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 Now, after that, I did theater there for a while, and then I decided I really wanted to do uh, film and TV. So okay. uh, I moved moved out to Los Angeles. Um, one of the reasons is that I I, I cannot take the cold. Uh, you know, snow, rain, and cold every winter was not was not for me. So Los Angeles was, you know, hopefully it's sunny every day, just about, <laughs> and it's warm. So that was one of the reasons, but mostly because I wanted to do film and TV. And I moved out to Los Angeles. It's, it's wild. Next year will be 40 years since okay. I've, since I've been here. And um, it, it uh, you know, I've been very, very lucky to uh, be able to uh, get some work and, and, uh, you know, keep doing this uh, this thing that I love, this acting. Nice. And were you aware of the Matrix rise in the popularity of uh, the Turtle Mania in the late 80s and early 90s, of course, when you accepted uh, the role of Shredder? When you uh, you accept the, the role of Shredder? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's... Uh... I I did, I saw the first movie, and okay. uh, a person I know, a friend of mine, named James Saito, he played the Shredder okay. in the first movie. Okay. And then they changed things in the second movie, so uh, I auditioned for it, and I got uh, you know I, I got the part, and I was very very excited, okay. uh, mostly because it was you know I got the job. <laughs> um, <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, I knew I, I had read the the comic books uh, before that. Okay. Uh, and. Uh, I really liked the first movie and I didn't know, you know, it, I, I knew it was popular. Uh, and then when I, I shot the second movie, you know, uh, it was still not, not uh, as, as, as crazy as it is now. Uh, yeah. I think I got a little idea of it when I, uh, after I shot the movie and I was working on some other project and this little, these two little, uh, I said, well, boy, uh, yeah, these two little boys came up to me. I think they were, they must be about like, 10 or 11 years old and uh they said oh you know oh man you're the shredder and i was like whoa whoa, whoa how, how do you how do you recognize me you know you can't really tell because i'm all i'm all messed yeah. up and everything right <laughs> but <laughs> the, the kids were like oh no no we know it's you I, you know like i see i see your eyes and we know it's you i was like wow okay <laughs> wow <laughs> and uh i it was very it was very popular then and then um you know the 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 third movie, I don't think, uh, did as well. And then the popularity kind of went down a little bit. Uh, but it was still, the cartoons were still there. And it, it really, um, it wasn't as, as uh, maniacal, I guess, as you can say, as it was before. But uh, it, it amazes me now, uh, 30 plus years later, how it's, it's still uh, so, so, so popular. And it's like a whole new 
new generation of of younger kids who are who are watching it, who <laughs> who their parents who are fans will make make them watch it and say, uh, <laughs> you know, I meet a lot of guys who are uh, older middle aged guys. They come up to me and they say, oh my god. You know, you, I was such a fan of yours. You, you, you scared the crap out of me when I was a kid, and <laughs> now I'm, I'm, I'm getting my, my, my kids into it, and they love it. So, uh, it's, wow. it, the popularity is, is, it, 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 it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Okay. Did you know that you'd be playing one of the most iconic villains of all time when you took on the role of Shredder? Oh no, of course not. I, like I say, I was, you know, it was. It was Basically, I mean, uh, I hope I don't disappoint people, but it was just another job, job for me. Yeah. Uh, I did it the best I could, and um, it was fun to do. I mean, I, I'm, I'm a big comic books. Uh, I, I used to read comic books a lot. I love superhero stuff or, or you know, things like that. And um, it, it was great to do. I didn't know, like I say, it was, uh, was going to be like this. I, if I had known, I, I, I would have, you know, kept some souvenirs from <laughs> from the movie but <laughs> I, i don't have anything uh right now so you uh, don't have anything no i i think no. i have a little little sign from my dressing room with my name on it but that was about it <laughs> oh okay. shit okay yeah okay. <laughs> no if i had known i would have you know i would have tried to get some other <laughs> stuff and uh but hey that's how it goes right <laughs> <laughs> and now uh, did you get recruited uh for the shredder role for the teenage mutant ninja turtles secret of um it, it was just like every other uh for an actor you you know you you uh go and audition for the role okay. um i went to audition i was with a, and there was myself and a bunch of other guys who were you know kind of uh my type i guess you would call it i mean they, um and um It, you know, it, uh, most of the, I knew like uh, every one of them. So we, we all know each other. And uh, I, I was lucky enough to get the part. I, I, I'm not sure what it is, but uh, it's okay. I don't have to know. Okay. Uh, for the role of a uh, villain, I mean, the shredder, did you uh, need uh, martial arts skills? Uh, I, you know, <clears throat> I do have martial arts skills. I've been uh, training in martial arts since I was, uh, I, maybe 12 years old so that's that's almost that's more than 50 years since i've been in and out of martial arts uh, i started training in taekwondo which is the korean martial art when i was younger and then as i got older my my body is uh i couldn't take the high kicks and stuff so i i now i train and and i, I teach um uh, uh what is it uh, uh traditional uh, okinawan karate okay uh, a couple nights a week here in los angeles Okay, you um, have your own dojo? No, I just help out. I just, I mean, I I, I'm one of the, I'm one of the black girls that that helps to teach. Okay. Um, but uh, I, the first movie, right? The, the Shredder was, you know, he, he got to do a lot of, a lot of martial arts and a lot of fights and yeah, stuff. Yeah. And then when I got the movie, the the, the, the the movie for the second one, I thought, oh yeah, this is going to be great. I can, you know, it's going to be a lot of fun. I can be able to uh, do all yeah. this stuff. But, but then, of course, the one, there's no fight. No, no, they changed no, it all. All, all the yeah. all, all Shredder did in the second movie was stand around and you know order, you know, get those get those turtles and da, da, da. so exactly. <laughs> there is just um, one fight if my memory is good, and uh, it's all about um, the Super Shredder at the right. end. Right. So um, about that. So uh, uh, first of all, are you a wrestling fan? Because uh, I know that. Um, WWE uh, oh, Hall of Famer Kevin right. Nash also right. uh, starred right. in the, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle as Super Shredder, right? Right, right. Uh, I I'm, I was not a, a wrestling fan. I can okay. see by uh, by your poster that you guys are. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, no, I didn't. I didn't know who Kevin Nash was. I met him, uh, okay. you know, on the set, and he was really a great guy, really nice. I just I was amazed at at how tall and and big he was and you know i'm talking like this to him all the time right yeah. oh yeah uh, he's tall he's big yes uh, yes yeah i think he's at least seven yeah, very impressive face to face and uh you know even now he's still he's still very impressive but back then when he was younger he was tall and he was just muscular and and you know no yeah. no fat on his body at all it's like wow yeah. uh 
we would like to discuss about uh, other <coughs> or other stuff uh, you did uh, during your uh, entire career. So uh, go ahead, j just just uh, with this one before. Oh yeah, yeah. You had a contract for Dr. Cheng in the last series. Right. Can you share us the experience, please? The, uh, it was really um, again. You know, you you audition for something and you you're happy to get the job, and you never think of it as. Uh, you know, something that would, uh, but it, it really is uh, sort of a, something that it's like a life changing role. You know, I auditioned, uh, I went, uh, I went into, uh, I got the part and uh, I was like, I knew they were, they, they shoot everything in Hawaii. So I thought, oh yeah, okay. I, this is great. I get to go to Hawaii. <laughs> and then uh, the first, the first time we did it, they, they, they call it said, oh, okay. Uh, you're gonna go to uh, Birdbank Studios here in, in uh, uh, <laughs> Warner, uh, Warner Brothers. Uh, blah, blah, blah. And I said, "Wow, wow, wow! Wait a minute! I thought we were in Hawaii." He goes, "No, no, no! This is um, this is it." Uh, uh, Just green screen only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, really so we did it, and then you know, it was supposed to be, I think, just a one one time thing. But okay. then a little, a uh, few, few, say like a couple months later, they called and, and said, "Oh, we need to do. We're going to do another one." Okay. And still in Burbank, <laughs> but then after that, uh, they they kept calling, and then finally, you know, we did everything in Hawaii. So uh, for the every season, I would I would fly like maybe three or four times uh, to Hawaii to do uh, to do the the, the filming, and uh, it, it was great. I mean, if you're going to go on location, Hawaii is, is the best place to go. Uh, and it is again another, you know, I always think, man, uh, luck has a big, big part to do with everything because uh, uh, the way it turned out, uh, you know, the, the, the way the character was was uh, uh, thought of was just, uh, I, you know, I never thought that anything like that would happen, but it was uh, the, the, that the character would become so popular. And, um, you know, it, it, I, I'm still, I'm still, um, surprised and shocked that uh, you know that, that the way it, it's gone you know I've, I've met a lot of uh, lost fans and um, they uh, <laughs> they're very very either they're like just very you know maniacal about everything asking every little questions about what did this mean and what did that mean and how that I'm like well I, I don't know <laughs> yeah, yeah I think you know more than I do <laughs> And uh, we know that you have uh, been uh, involved in the Ninjas of Beverly Hills movie. Right. Memory is good. Uh -huh. So, 1997. Um, yeah. um, what is your reaction when you learn about the passing of the lead actor, Chris uh, Farley? Chris Farley. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, what is your reaction when well, you learn? It, you know, of course, uh, it's very sad. I mean, I didn't really know him too well. I did. I did work with him in that movie, and I did spend a little time. We kind of spent like a day in this. If you remember the scene, we spent the day in this this rowboat <laughs> in the water, uh, shooting it. And uh, it, a, a amazingly nice guy. Um, yeah. You know, I, I wish. Fun. I wish. They were, yeah, very fun. Very funny guy. Yeah. And. Uh, I wish I had, you know, got a chance to know him better, but uh, it was a very short time, and uh, it's uh, it's always sad when uh, you know, really, so, uh, somebody with that much talent and that much, uh, you know, uh, stuff passes away that early in age, you know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, how many seasons? Uh, excuse me. Are many? How many seasons are they planning for the production of the TV series uh, The Penguin, in which you and Colin Farrell will be starring? And which is set to be released in uh, next year, 2024. Okay, so uh, as you know, uh, the Actors Union SAG AFTRA is on strike right now. And one of the stipulations is that I can't speak about anything that's new or coming up right now. Yeah, so yeah. We sorry. Are, I'll leave you about that. <laughs> sorry. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. What, what will be your role for, uh, for the, the series? Because there is not too much information about that, we know that you are involved in yeah. the yeah yeah. Well, like I say, it's it's. Okay. I, I, I really I really can't say anything about anything that okay. I'm doing. Okay. Right. Okay. 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 Anything okay. that I'm doing right now or or projects that I've done that still hasn't been released. Uh, 
I did a project uh, last year and uh, it's no, confidential. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no problem. Sorry. Problem. Hopefully, hopefully the strike will be will end soon, and then I can tell everybody uh, everything no they want to know. It's all no right. Problem. Yeah. So, um, Mr. Stroh, uh, just before ending, uh, uh -huh. we'll give you some uh, names and in a short sentence, tell us something about it. Okay. So, uh, Sylvester Stallone. Sylvester Stallone, uh, very talented person. Um, I, I, you know, of course, all I know of him is what I see on movie. But uh, uh, I, you know what? A very good actor. I think he gets a lot of grief for they think, oh, Stallone alone is he's just this, you know, this guy. But uh, I think he's a very, very good actor. Thank you, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Again, Arnold. Uh, <laughs> I, you know, he's. I think he's uh, from the beginning until now. He's as an actor. I mean, I can only speak as an actor. Uh, again, another good actor, but more of a, a you know. His personality is what is what uh, makes him makes him who he is. He just all, all these all these sort of stars. Uh, mo a lot of them are great actors, but they're stars because of their their personality. You you, you go to the movie to yeah. see Arnold Schwarzenegger, be Arnold Schwarzenegger, doing something. You don't want to go. You're not going to the movie because you think, oh, he's going to be you know doing something uh, makes sense. Uh, yeah some, something else yeah yeah and uh Ernie Reyes Jr. Ernie all right great guy <laughs> great guy <laughs> great guy he uh, you know he uh, I he, um, amazing amazing martial artist uh oh, yeah. oh he's he's incredible I, you know, I watch him do this stuff and I'm like wow that's you know uh that's crazy um great guy and uh you know I would would never want to meet him in a fight. <laughs> nice. Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell. Uh, again, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to say because uh, uh, this is... Uh, uh, all I can say is great guy. Nice. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And ending, uh, François Chaud. Say that again? François Chaud. Yourself. Francois Chaud. Yourself. Oh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Very lucky guy, lucky guy who's been able to stick around for a long time. But remember one thing: hard work pays off. Yes, so, hard work. Yeah. Well, in this business, yes. hard and work is part it. of it. Uh, luck is another big part. I know a lot of. I have a lot of friends. I know a lot of people who work hard, who work much harder than I do, and uh, who have great talent. But for whatever reason, you know, it's hard if it, they haven't been able to kind of. Uh, Get, get this uh, get yeah. the jobs that I think they deserve get get the recognition yeah and for uh, closing uh, it's uh, already um, 23 minutes of it's your okay. generous time so as usual my partner Benoit aka Nostradamus Ben it's all about the French prophet so you, you're supposed to know uh, the the French prophet Yes, of course. Well, we're no Nostradamus, but the future of our guest. So, you know oh, his oh. real name of Nostradamus? Nostradamus, oui. Michel de Notre Dame. Ah, je savais pas ça. Je savais pas. Je savais pas que c'était Michel. Oh yeah. Seulement c'est Nostradamus, oui. Oh yeah. Okay. First of all, thank you so much, Mr. Show. It was very appreciated. Oh, thank you, guys. Okay, I predict to you uh, maybe a, a book will be released uh, about your life. Oh wow! Okay, uh, okay, I'll keep that in mind. I, 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 uh, <laughs> I don't know who's going to write it, but I don't think it's going to be me. <laughs> you pick a biography. Yeah. Uh, okay. Maybe uh, I predict uh, maybe you're going to play a Shredder one more time in the spin-off of the Ninja Turtles uh, series. Oh, okay. Well, I'll try. It's just, uh, you know, I'm getting a little a little older now, so it's going to be a little, a little harder. Oh, with the helmet. Oh, yeah. yeah that's the matter, the gray hairs. Yeah. They can CGI <laughs> my face and then make, you know, the, 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 the aging. <laughs> so, uh, thank you so much. We are very grateful for your time. 25 minutes already, so... This is an honor and privilege, and I hope you enjoy uh, wrestling fans uh, of a Wrestle Rock podcast. Of course, uh, we were with 
François Chou, euh, formerly known as Shredder, Dr. <laughs> Chang. Uh, This is an honor. Uh, thank you thank so you much. Thank you so much, you guys, for having me. Uh, merci, merci bien pour, pour, pour tout ça. C'est un plaisir. Ouais.